Hey there, in this one, we are gonna be converting our Trijangle 1.9 project into our Advancing the Blog project. So that means that we're gonna be taking the code from our old project and putting it into a brand new project. If you've done Trijangle 1.9, which of course is on our YouTube channel, so joincfe.com slash YouTube, as well as our website, joincfe.com, you can actually just skip this video because really all we're doing is grabbing the original code, that the final code from that video, and then just changing it over so that our project actually works with the same code, but the project itself is brand new. One thing that you would wanna note is that we will have all of this code on our GitHub. So it's gonna be on github.com slash coding for entrepreneurs as one word, and advancing the blog is the name of this project. So that's where the repository is also gonna be named. Of course, it's empty right now because we haven't put anything on there yet, but we definitely will very soon. And as far as the code that we're gonna be building off of, that is also on our GitHub under try Django 1.9. So that code is what we're gonna be using here in just a moment. Now to do this, it's actually required that we use the Heroku tool belt. Well, not so much the Heroku tool belt, but the something that comes in with it, which is Git. So Git is a version control system, and we're gonna be using that to actually allow us to grab the code by the basic commands that the Heroku tool belt actually installs, which is pretty nice. Okay, so um, this is gonna assume a lot. It's gonna assume that you also have a lot of other things installed. So if you don't have Django installed, definitely check out try Django 1.9 and it will show you how to do that stuff. So without further ado, let's actually go ahead and copy this project, bring it onto our local computer. So we're gonna open up terminal and I'm gonna change into my desktop. Uh, in fact, I'm already in my desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a directory called blog and I'm gonna CD into blog. So blog is gonna hold our virtual environment as well as our Django project and any other project related code that we might need. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the GitHub repository code and I'll do git clone the repository name or the repository link and then period. So this is just gonna copy everything that's on the repository and put it into our local computers folder which is the blog folder. Um, so it's gonna download it and we'll see all of this stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is virtual env period. Again, same sort of thing. If you had the period, it will put it inside of the folder that you're working in. And the reason I'm putting a virtual environment here is because I want this virtual environment to reflect what's on that try Django 1.9 code. I definitely want them to be the same essentially. So we'll actually install the same requirements using a virtual environment. So now that we activate this virtual environment, I'm gonna do source bin slash activate. Now this blog folder is actually showing me the virtual environment that I'm working in, which is blog. And if I do pip freeze, I will see not everything, nothing's installed, right? We don't have anything on there. If you have one thing on there, it's not a big deal. Uh, but what we need to is install our requirements. So Python or pip install r dash requirements dot txt. And this is going to install all the requirements from that previous project, which is great. That's what we actually want. If pillow fails for you, that's okay. We do have a guide on GitHub discussing pillow and the Python image library. But again, we talk about that more in try 1.9. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and open this folder up by just pressing open period or navigating to the desktop, going to blog and double clicking on the Sublime project. So the Sublime project is related to the actual Sublime text project um, which is coming from GitHub. So we use Sublime Text as our text editor, of course. Now I'm gonna change a few things here. First of all, I'm gonna rename a lot of our files from Trijango 1.9 to just simply blog. So blog and workspace rename. Okay, and then we wanna do a search and replace. So Command Shift F will allow us to actually find and replace something inside of a specific folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear the current folder out and I'm gonna add a new folder and I'm gonna go into blog, hit open. And here I wanna change out everything try Django 1.9 to blog. And I'll go ahead and replace and it's gonna it's gonna ask you to replace 16 occurrences, definitely replace it. Okay, so that should that should have changed everything in there with one exception, this folder right here. It won't change the folder, it will change everything else. So we're gonna re rename this folder into blog, press enter. 
and hopefully everything changed. So let's actually go ahead and see. We're gonna change into the source document and do python manage.py run server. And we've got nothing named trijango 1.9 settings. So in all of these files that were opened on that search and replace, let's go ahead and save them. Oh, they, we can't save them because we didn't save them before we changed the file. So we're gonna have to do it one more time. And inside of blog, or sorry, do that search and replace again. So command shift F, trijango 1.9, hit replace and replace it again. Notice it opens these files. So we wanna save each one of them that were changed and we'll try and run the server again. This time it runs and notice it's now using blog.settings. And if we copy the server itself, we now are on here, it's running. Um, if we go into the admin, we do see the admin. Uh, let's try and log in. It looks like our username's not working. So I'm gonna just make a new one, python manager.py create super user. And I'll say CFE, learn code is the password. Oops. And the reason I'm telling you that password is so you can test the same database that we have. But of course, if you ran create super user, you could create your own too. So learn code, we log in and there we go. We've got our posts, we've got everything from the database um, that came with Trijango uh, 1.9. So if we go to post itself, we see all of this stuff. Um, great, so that's that's a good start. We now have this blog on our local page and we will actually make some changes here very, very soon. Um, so if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.